The GPARD popped into the news for being used in Ukraine by Ukraine against Russian cruise missiles and drones. This will be a brief history and overview of the weapon. It is called a GPARD, Self-Propelled Anti-Aircraft Gun, or SPAAG for short, or the Flak Panzer GPARD. It has been in service for over 50 years. It was developed in the early 1960s during the Cold War. It was developed in part to defend against the likes of the Russian Mil Mi-24. For the Flak Panzer Gepard's development, jet technology had rapidly advanced. This meant the missiles and machine guns tasked with shooting down aircraft had to follow suit. West Germany ensured this by installing 35mm twin or Lycan cannons. The two 35mm guns have an effective range of around 3.4 miles or 5.4 kilometers and they can fire 550 rounds each per minute, making for a combined total of 1,100 rounds per minute. The GPARD has an onboard ammunition stock being a mix of anti-aircraft AA projectiles and anti-tank AT projectiles to make the vehicle as versatile as possible. The Flak Panzer GPARD features two radars. One is a general search radar towards the rear and the other is a tracking radar. It is also equipped with a laser rangefinder mounted between the guns. All this combined allows operators to track enemy aircraft and fire accurately. Gepard means cheetah in German and the maximum row speed of the Gepard is 40 miles per hour or roughly 64 kilometers per hour. Shortly after the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, German company Kraus Mafei Wegman or KMW for short offered to send 50 of the anti-aircraft guns to the Ukrainian military. The German government approved this transfer two months later, and the first GPARD arrived in Ukraine in July 2022. There have been issues regarding the system recognizing Norwegian-produced ammunition, but the problem should be getting worked on. The weapon is currently being used in Brazil, Romania, Jordan, and Ukraine. The German army retired its last GPARD systems in 2010 to make room for a new, more modern solution based on the GTK Boxer Multi-Role Wheeled Vehicle. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys noticed any misinformation or if you wanted more information on a certain subject, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.